gamers, welcome back to another video and today, as you can see by the beginning of the video, we are talking about the House of the Dead remake. This is a complete remake of other, there was other remakes of this game as well, on like the Wii days, but I didn't really play them. I played this game back in the arcade machines, now I wasn't like in the 90s in arcades and stuff because I'm too young, but uh, I've been to arcades that played uh, House of the Dead remake. Um, with the guns, and that was a lot of fun. And uh, this remake for the Nintendo Switch, uh, I got a couple gripes with it, but um, there's a lot of good more than there is bad. Now when it comes to remakes, you really gotta get the right people to be able to make a remake justice and to make it fun and really well made. Um, I'm gonna get into the good first. Now when it comes to the good of this game, it's pretty much a copy-paste and is really well done when it comes to its gameplay format. Uh, now with the Joy-Cons, it's a little weird. Um, I prefer using some type of gun. I don't have a gun. I know there is one that you can use, uh, but I'm sure it's a lot of fun with two people. I'm going to be playing with other people uh, in the near future. And when it comes to single player, I think it's best played with the Pro Controller, as there's been other people who have agreed with me on that one, that playing with the Pro Controller is actually seems to be the best way to play the game. But overall levels, one, there's four chapters in the game, but there's also a lot of extras as well, and they added a horde, horde mode as well. So horde mode is really, really fun. I think it's a lot more fun than playing the regular campaign, because it adds way more zombies, and is way more difficult, you're gonna die a lot more. It's just a lot more fun. Now there's four chapters in the game, as most of you may know who may have played it, and if you have not played it, yes, there's four chapters. It's a really short game, which is the only downside to it, but it's also got a lot of replay value because there's a lot of uh, collectibles to unlock throughout playing the game more and more, and also there's secret areas with secret zombies that you can unlock as well, and not to mention there's secret cutscenes and things that you can get as well by saving the different civilians. Now I haven't actually saved every single civilian in this game yet because it can be really really challenging even on the regular mode. Uh, you gotta really know what you're doing and you can't restart from specific checkpoints. You have to do the level all over again in order to uh, get to where you were to kill the zombie that's trying to kill uh, whoever you're trying to save. But I will say that I do like that challenge aspect because I do very much so I would like to save all of these civilians to get all the different unlockables and different things and uh, I think it's really cool, a really cool concept and uh, it was fun back in the day, but back in the day you had to spend quarters constantly, whereas now I can just play it the way that I want to play it. Now when it comes to any downsides for this game, I would say there's some minor bugs here and there uh, in the gameplay. It doesn't stay at a steady, steady frame rate consistently, but it's also only on the Nintendo Switch right now. They have confirmed that it's going to come to PC, I believe. I'm not 100% sure if it's coming to console, other consoles or not. I hope that it is, because this game would be a lot better, I think, on PC and on other consoles compared to the Switch. But it does suit the cartoony style for the Nintendo Switch, and the way they added the blood and gore and stuff, which they added a lot of, it really works really well. Another downside, I would say, is the soundtrack. Unfortunately, they do not have the original soundtrack, which is definitely the better version of this game, is the original soundtrack, but I guess that was due to copyright issues, and they had some issues getting, being able to use the original soundtrack, so unfortunately they had to remake it, and it isn't quite as good as the original soundtrack. It's still okay, but like, it's not nearly as good as the original. Nothing ever beats the original soundtrack when it comes to a game like this. It's just a classic that you grow up with, you know? And when you have to change something or be forced to change something because it's going to cost way too money to, way too much money to be able to actually change, uh, keep the same soundtrack, it's kind of unfortunate. Anyways guys, I would recommend playing this game. It's only a $25 game, but I'd say wait for it to have a little bit of a sale because it's super short. It's only like 45 minutes long, not even really an hour, but it's a lot of fun. And if you want to have a game that you play with a friend, co-op, couch co-op, this is definitely a really fun game to play with a friend. So I'd recommend waiting for a sale. It's only $25 though, so it's really not that bad. But I'd recommend waiting for it to be 20 or less to pick it up because of how short it is. But there is quite a few collectibles and things. So it really just depends on if you're into the replay value or not playing this game multiple times through to get all the collectibles and get everything and save all of the humans and all of that. I would say this game is a ton of fun though, and I for sure do recommend that you check it out, uh, especially especially if you grew up in arcades and stuff, and I'm happy that they brought this game back. 
Uh, I believe they confirmed they're actually going to do a House of the Dead 2 remake as well. Hopefully they can get the original soundtrack for that one, but my guess is that's probably unfortunately not going to be the case. So if I had to rate this game, I would give it a 9.5 out of 10. And the reason why is because I have some gripes with it, but it's still really fun and really good and it's a faithful remake. It's got some minor bug issues and it's got some, you know, the soundtrack issue, but overall it's still a really fun experience. So I'd say, yeah, go for it. Uh, check this game out. I hope you guys enjoyed the skit at the beginning of the video. It took me a little bit of work to get that together. This is my first skit that I put into a, a game review kind of thing, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Please be sure to like the video if you did enjoy. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Uh, lots more game related content coming and different things. Check out some of my other stuff. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Later.